Hello and welcome to this Cartoon Smart video tutorial on exploring Adobe Illustrator CS5. My name is Brian Zakowski, and in this video we're going to talk about the Use Japanese Crop Marks option in your General Preferences panel of Illustrator CS5. No need to open a new document, I'm just going to demonstrate here. Uh, I have a cartoon character. This guy is just plain nuts. He created um, this helmet. <clears throat> actually, he created it for his mother. And uh, she's actually in the hospital. She um, had part of her foot eaten off by a giant hermit crab when she was um, visiting Alaska. And um, apparently, up in Alaska, the giant hermit crabs can really hurt you. As a matter of fact, the bears are afraid of them, from, from what I understand. Anyway, <clears throat> so he made this helmet. Um, to entertain his mother while she was recovering in the hospital from from that accident and uh, her mother well when he was a kid her, his mother always created things out of household items that they were just going to throw out and um, uh, one time they just happened to have enough objects to create uh, a Winnebago and uh, they actually traveled around the world with it but um, so he, he took that into account when he wanted to cheer his mother up he took some things around the house and made this um, entertainment hat. And uh, this this thing right here plays music. Um, whatever he whatever music he's thinking of, that's where it plays out of there. And if you're holding a baby, this thing right here, <laughs> excuse me, uh, this thing right here spins and does all kinds of things for, for the baby. The other stuff we're not going to get real deep into because this video is about using Japanese crop marks in your preferences panel. Okay, so if I was to select this object, this character here, um, it just shows me that I have a standard bounding box. But say I want to create a guide, so to speak. Say I'm, I'm printing it on paper and I want to cut it, cut it out, and I want some sort of guide you know, to, to help me do that. I could go to, uh, actually, to go to Object and go down to create trim marks and when I select create trim marks it creates these uh, the these I didn't know whether to say this or these so it came out these it sounded like I was talking with a with a uh, Spanish accent or something I guess anyway so these crop marks would help you maybe um, cut something out or if you're creating a sheet of business cards you could use crop marks to help you align them um, but what we're talking about is use the Japanese crop marks option and what you see here are Japanese crop marks they take into consideration a, a bleed which is if you had a color going off the edge the bleed is how much how far off the the color would go beyond the place where the document or the paper would be cut so the inner mark here represents the bounds of the character itself and the outside is the bleed so I'm not gonna pretend I know a lot about that kind of stuff because I'm not involved in the printing industry I have a friend who um, does print t-shirts you know for a living it's um, Smith graphics in um, uh, Haverhill Massachusetts I'm in Portsmouth New Hampshire <clears throat> so anyway not that that's important or anything but okay now these are Japanese crop marks and that the only reason they showed up that way is because in my preferences I'll go to general here I have used Japanese crop marks selected if I did not have Japanese crop marks selected and I'm just gonna duplicate this guy hold my, down my option key and drag him let go with the mouse left mouse key before letting go and now if I apply uh, go to object and create trim marks it creates single it doesn't show a bleed so Japanese crop marks are just a or trim marks you know apparently it means the same thing from what I've learned in the past 20 minutes here <laughs> okay so uh, that is I don't imagine you would ever really use that unless you're doing something like creating a sheet of um, things that you want to cut out. You can use them also as 
a way to align objects you know, if you wanted to. So that is that's it for that. And uh, let's wish this guy's mother good luck recovering from her hermit crab attack. And I know you know hope the foot turns out okay. I don't remember if I told you if it was bitten off or if it was just injured. So um, I don't know about that. Okay. For Cartoon Smart, I'm Brian Zakowski. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful.